conclusion of this story, the whole truth about yourself, and how you've just found out. Instead of being the self, the little thing that you always have been told you were or are, you've now discovered that your essential nature is nothing at all. No thingness. Certainly conscious and alive and all the th all those words you can attach to because you're having an experience, but even those words don't describe that experience. You're not even those things. But yet, there's a vital. I don't know what words to use. It's poetry. It's magic. It's vitality. You're that emptiness. You're the totality of everything you see around you. And every particular thing that lies in between. So just consider that. Something may occur to you in all of this, and that is, here you are in a body, in a, a universe which has dimensions of space and time and matter and energy, and now you've discovered your purpose. And you think, okay, what am I to do next? Don't worry about anything. Once you've discovered your purpose, you and the universe are suddenly one, and let the universe take over from this point. You don't have to worry about anything. Uh, that unity consciousness, because it's so unthinkable, when you are having the experience the of loving being another, which everything arises. This is the most common way. It may be the only way for some of us to ever have this experience. That's very sad. Because what you've done is you've transformed your own self-love, your own inner love, the love of this presence, onto another. What you're experiencing is that love, but you've transferred it onto another. Now, if you do that, then and you forget that this the inner being that's you're dealing with, then you expect of the other certain behaviors to occur in such a way that you can feel that again. And it never, 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 never works. Never. Because that isn't where the love is. It has nothing to do with the other person. It has to do with you. And if you understand that and deal with it, you have the power to not only love another, but you will be loved by everybody in the universe. Because you're walking love. You don't even have to be a nice guy. You could be a complete you know, you can be like me, <laughs> grumpy and loud and blah, doesn't matter. If you're coming from that point of view, people sense it. Love itself, this kind of presence, a sense of this presence cannot have any conditions because we're dealing with something which is not matter, not energy, not space, not time. It isn't any of those. So how can, it, how can you condition it? How can you label it? How can you box it up?